Okay, in this video we're going to use Excel to compute the coefficient of determination R squared and then construct this residual plot. Now in this problem specifically if you were to read this it already gives you the correlation coefficient right here and that's the R. So R squared would just be 0.736 and then we get the percentage. So you wouldn't even have to do this but in the future problems may not give you this information. They may just give you the data. So Let's use this, copy this information, and go to Excel. I'm going to use um, a document that I've already created so I don't have to go through all this work again. It's uh, from section 4.2 and it's on this video. If you watch this video, you can create this document. Click here. Okay, and we're going to paste this data in here and update some of this information. So I'm just going to paste it down here just to see how much how many cells are here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells. And I only have five. So I'm going to go in here and insert three more in the middle. I highlight these values and click insert. I do that in the middle because it's going to allow me to fill these things down and for this to automatically update. Then I go up to the top and paste in my information. Okay and then I can change this to some kind of small number so you can kind of see what that is. Delete this down here now. Okay, so now I want to get all this information filled in as well and check to see if this is updated correctly. Now this is not the equation anymore, right? The equation is different. We can see it to be y equals 0.2561x plus 10.486. So I just put that in there and then I need to update this as well. So the cells are right, it's just the numbers, 0 0.2561, and then at the end here, plus 10.486. And then what I'm going to do is drop that down, and then drop these two down. All right, there's all the information. Maybe I'll make it look nicer. Now I had to update that because this information here were the expected values and I needed to be have this new equation and then the residuals and all the other things have updated by themselves once I did that. But remember to do this portion. Now let's check over here my R squared value 0.7364. Well the R squared is 73.6 percent. Well to change that to a percent remember you just move the decimal place over two spots and you have it. And it says to round off to one decimal place. That's why they have 73.6. So be careful on that. So that's where the R squared is. No problem. This information was needed for plotting the residual plot, which was the head circumference to the residuals. So these would be the new Y values, and these Y values would be the X values. So let's create that. Basically, I'm just going to do another stat plot or another scatter plot. So I'm going to uh, first highlight these because these will be the X values and then I'm going to hit my control key and highlight these over here. So that will be my Y values. So first and then second and insert, scatter, and then here they are. Which is called a residual plot. So again the X values were the Y values from the information given plotted against the residuals. And then that's it. And it can tell if we have any outliers. It can tell if this is a good thing for um, the linear, the graph should be a linear regression line, etc. You can do some all types of uh, analysis on that. And we come here to match it with our graph. We see that, yes, this is about right. That one goes to 0.2, but very similar. Matches up nicely. And now we continue to answer the questions about them. In this video here, we're going to use Microsoft Excel, but with the data analysis pack inserted into it, to find the um, co coefficient of determination R squared right here, and then construct a residual plot as well. Okay, so let's get this information. You just basically copy it to a clipboard and move it over into Excel. And then I paste it in here, which I've already done. Now this is using a document from a previous uh, post. I don't need all this information, but I'm just going to use this. Uh, 
All I need is these two columns with the data analysis pack. So I have that, and then I come here, select kind of a cell down in this area, wherever you want it to start, basically. And then I click Data, Data Analysis, and then Regression. OK. Now I'm going to select my input range. Again, that's my Y value. My X input range, my right there. My output range, select it right there. That's where it will put the information. And here's where we're going to select some stuff here. You can select the residuals if you want. That will get, give them out, but we want the residual plot as well. Okay. So that will give us that information. And if we click OK, now we have all of that down here. So let's look at it and see if we can find the information again. Remember we have the slope here and the y-intercept for the line. So you can get that information. You don't even need the regular graph. And then we have the r-squared value right here. And if you want to make it to a percent, just click a button and format it and make it to a percent for you. Okay, 73.64. And if we look, 73.6% was the R squared. That's that value. Now we just need the residual plot. Well, that was given to us. Where is it? It's not here. Look over to the right. Sometimes it puts it someplace else. There it is. Okay, I'll just slide it right up over here. So there's our residual plot. And if we compare that to the answer here, that's it right here. Now it says x variable 1, so we probably would update that into, so that would say height. Doesn't mean it's the x values from, from up here. It's not using these x values, it's using these values as the x input. So you have to keep that in mind. It's just the residual plot. We can delete that so we don't get confused. So those are the values, and they go from the same, similar, 25 to 28, and it's easily, you can match that and make some conclusions based on that residual plot.